So welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 1650, lowest common ancestor of a binary tree 3. The way we'll be approaching this problem is the the words that we also took were question 160, which is the intersection of two linked lists. Um, so what is the approach that we're taking here? So you know that the distance between um, the two nodes to get to the parent will always be x if you look at the difference between them. So uh, what you need to do is that like, you need to keep traversing um, up to the parent. And at some point, uh, if they meet at the same uh, parent um, and or the same node, you know that you found the parent. So in this case, which is the first case, uh, five um, and three and one and three, they meet at three. And then uh, that's the easiest case. You just return it. So let's start with that case, right? So let's say node A equals P. Here we're just um, reassigning it and we'll see in a minute why we need to do that. So uh, while A is not equal to B, right? Um, you need to keep doing something, right? So what does it mean? Um, A equals A dot parent and B equals B dot parent. Um, and then uh, you just return A, right? So at least for this case, the first case, it works. So you're just reassigning them and you keep traversing up, right? And you keep going to the parent. And as soon as they hit the same node, which is three, in this case, you'll just return A or B, doesn't matter because they are the same and you're good. However, if you look at more complex cases, right? You realize that there's a high that is possible only when the height difference between both of them is actually the same, right? So you keep traversing up and up and up at some point, even if they have the same height difference, sometimes you can uh, appear, come to different nodes, but if they don't have the same height difference, you have a problem, right? However, we can use the fact that they have the X distance between them and that distance will always remain constant. And we can use the same approach that we use in two linked list approach. So basically, we keep going up the parent as, as and as soon as one of them hits null, you just reassign that node to the other node. So what does that look like? So if A equals null, if this is true, right, you just assign Q to it. Otherwise, you just go up the parent. Same goes with B. B equals, if it is equal to null at some point, that means you've come all the way up and you just need to assign it to P, otherwise you need to keep going up. And why is that? At, in the beginning, we assigned A to be, um, uh, sorry, A to be P and B to be Q, and you're just like uh, reversing them because that way you're asking them to start from the, pre uh, the other node. So the reason why this works is because once you've reached all the way to the parent, right, you have a distance of X, but the other node has already traveled X nodes up. Right. So at that point, they will if you traverse them again, they will meet at the same uh, node, the parent node, because they're at this point. Both of them are away from the, the parent by X by X distance. So that's a, that's the reason why this works. So let's try compiling this and see if it's OK. The first test case is OK. Everything else is OK as well. Awesome. So um, it might be a little confusing to understand this unless and until you actually go through the problem yourself. And the easier case to understand this is to actually look through question uh, 160 on uh, um, on lead code. I also have a video for that if you want to take a look at that as well. Um, try to go through this problem yourself through a couple of examples and see and try to understand why it works. Um, yeah, so that's how you solve the problem. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, let's talk about the space and the time complexity before I wrap up. The time complexity of the entire solution is um, O H1 and H2 um, because you're just uh, traversing up the, the nodes, right? You're, so you just need to look at the, the heights of the trees and the complexity, um, the space complexity is O of 1 since we're not really using any additional space. Um, awesome. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It really motivates me to make more videos. Thanks so much. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.